Welcome back to Behind the Box. This week, we're going to be doing a Let's Play video of one of my favorite games, Codenames Duet, because we really loved escaping the castle last week. Well, trying to. Well, <laughs> failing at escaping, really just making the castle our home. Yeah, getting comfortable <laughs> with the castle, becoming one with it, if you will. But yeah, so um, this week, we're going to be playing Codenames Duet, which is one of my favorite two-player games. So yeah, we like you said, we enjoyed it so much last week and we just wanted to do another one, jump right in. This won't become a Let's Play channel, but we want to do a little bit more of them because they're enjoyable it's to make. Fun. It's fun, makes us play games more and more, which we will always find excuses to do. <laughs> Would you like to give us a brief rule summary of the game? Okay, so you should see here that there's a bunch of words on cards that make up our playing area grid grid yeah, yeah. and um, what we're trying to do is communicate to each other um, so we're both like spies and like spies we have um, what do you call them like little connections little agents agents in the field, in the field. Yeah. yeah okay and so we're trying to communicate who our agents are to each other we're gonna have different agents and they're represented by the words here and we get a handy little grid um, there and so uh what's green are the words that like i would consider the are my agents or the safe words the ones i'm trying to get him to guess and the black ones here with the x's those are the assassins um people we don't want um the other player to guess instant loss if we yeah do. uh anything that's beige those are just innocent bystanders we I mean, we don't want to hurt anybody. <laughs> we but... just alarm them. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you guess them, it's not a big deal. These are double-sided as well. So this is like Lindsay's side, then that means that would be my side. Mm -hmm. So some of them will be overlapping, but most of it is unique to you. And we'll randomly assign one of these at the start of the game. So yeah. we're not using that one we just shown. Yeah, um, so that, and then these things up here, uh, that's how many, basically how many tries we get, essentially. Yeah, we're going to do a nice easy one for this, just to keep it lighter on the, the video. Um, so we're going to have nine overall attempts, so it means that back and forth we'll be able to give four and then five, depending on who goes first. Um, if we get it correct, we just flip one of these over, and that means that's one round done, and nothing bad happened. If we get it wrong, we put the innocent bystander token on the card that was the incorrect card facing the person whose card it wasn't, and then that ends the round immediately, so we move on. So this will always be correct to how many correct and incorrect turns we've had. Should so, we uh, get started? I think we should. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna shuffle this up and then I want you to actually no, let's both not look. Okay. Because then I can just put it in. I'm not I was looking. gonna say you draw one, but all right, so I'm just going to look up. Mm -hmm. The great thing is it's all on camera, so there's no way that we can accidentally <laughs> cheat. Right, I'm just going to... You got one? Yep, yep. So, I can see my side. And I can see mine. Now, because of the camera angle, Lindsay is going to be looking um, from... So, I'll just use another one of these as an example. Let's say this was Lindsay's card. She would have to use this as the word blizzard, and this green one up here would be genie. So, she's going to be looking at it that way, Whereas I, on the other side of the card, will have genie be a green for me as well, because that's my bottom right. And then my top left would be the word blizzard. So if Lindsay ever guesses blizzard in this case, we lose the game. But if I ever guess blizzard, then it's just an innocent bystander, which is a cool mechanic that Codenames Duet introduced. And uh, I can't I can't look up. I'm, I have trouble reading upside down. So I made myself a little cheat sheet. Of the grid over there. Yeah, it'll <laughs> just make it easier for you to... Because right of the now. angle. Yeah, it'll just be a lot easier for you. <laughs> okay, all so right. So I think what we should do is just take a quick mm -hmm. moment to both assess what our agents are and the cards that can link together. Because ultimately, we want to link as many words together as possible mm -hmm. in one guess. I think we'll cut back once mm -hmm. we have just spent a minute. So you're not just watching us sit doing nothing for a moment. I've already started. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, kind Ooh. of... Do you want to go first? Do you have a, I, have a, I think I have a good one. I'm just going to check and see if I've got any that are going to get in the way of it. You know what I mean? Okay. Because I was going to say, at this point, once you're both comfortable with it, I don't know if this is in the official rules. I can't remember. But this is how we always play. 
once one person feels like they have a clue ready to go, they can just be the one that starts. But then you go back and forth each time. Mm. You don't just have one person do all the clues because that would be crazy. So do you, do you think you have one that you want to go for? I think I do. I think I do. I'm just checking. <sighs> I think I got it. I think I got it. Do you want to go first then? Okay. I might actually be able to fit another one in. I don't know if I can do that. <sighs> this game gets this wild. This is crazy. <laughs> I, I think I might be able to do. Hang on. While you think, I'm just going to explain. So you give one word clues. Sometimes you can give more than one word, depending on the circumstances. But for now, just assume it's one word that you give as a clue and then you give a number. The number indicates how many of the words on the grid are linked by that one clue. And so you guess them one at a time. And if you're correct, you add a green card to that one. And if you're wrong, depending on if it's an assassin or an innocent bystander, you just move on from that. I, I'm not going to be able to fit that other one in there. Well, I do you want me to go first? Because I think I have one that might clear some stuff out for you. Okay, 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 okay. Because I think mine's relatively straightforward. Mm -hmm. So my first clue mm -hmm. is going to be fictional mm -hmm. two. Okay, so first thing that comes to mind is uh, Potter because Harry Potter. Uh, I'm also thinking genie because that's something you see a lot in fiction. Fictional two. Sherlock is a story. That's fiction. Uh, okay, so my first guess is going to be genie. Are we just going with when you say it like that, that is locking it in, yeah? Yeah, I'm locking it in. Because I can't, I can point at it. Genie. That is First correct. Guess. So we take the green token here and we cover the word genie. That means we have successfully found that agent. With Jason Statham. With Jason Statham. It was him the whole time. You should hear my imitation of Jason Statham. This is spot on. Um, okay. Because Lindsay got it correct. She gets a second guess because I said the clue was two. So she gets to make a second guess. But you said two and Sherlock and Potter. Sherlock wasn't a real person. That was totally fictional. Did you miss Potter? You could have missed Potter. You might have been thinking of like an actual Potter. Which is not fictional. Sherlock is fiction. What was the clue again? So officially, I can't tell you. Oh, sorry. After I've said it. Okay, that's okay. It. I can't, I don't know if you said fiction or fictional. I think you said fiction. Fiction. Oh. Both Sherlock and Potter are fictional. Just, I would just go ah, over. Potter. It's green. <gasps> Was that a fake out? Oh my gosh. Right, it. Oh yeah. Jeez. You stinker. So that's my go over. Lindsay now will be able to make her first <laughs> go. Okay, so I'm going to say Ice. And what number? Three. Ice and three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right okay i'm gonna start with what i think is the obvious one. <laughs> oh my gosh i'm gonna go i'm gonna instantly lock in blizzard is that correct yeah okay. sorry i'm just double checking yeah i'm just double the... checking up the upper left of the card that is this right yeah. Okay. okay. So that would be okay. genie for you. Yeah. But genie's done. Yes, I'm making sure. <laughs> Ice. Three. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's a few that come to mind. So I'm just going to speak out loud, not locking anything in yet. Mm -hmm. Vikings, you know, very Nordic. That sort of a very icy area. Salt, you know. You you prevent ice on floors with with rock salt. K 
caves, you know? Think about where Sully and Mike Wazowski wound up with that Yeti in Monsters, Inc. Mm -hmm. That's the least likely <laughs> of the three. I'm going to go with... <laughs> Could you imagine my second guess? I'm going to go with Salt. Okay, this is good, this is good. Now what I can do, if I wanted to, is I could pass. If I choose to pass on a future round, even if I don't pass now, in a future round you always get like plus one to the guess you can make. So you can try and catch up on stuff you skipped. So I could skip ice now, next round, if something that maybe was worrying me is taken away, I could then go with the other thing. But... I think I don't want to do that and want to try and just get through this. Oh, we should have mentioned after my round. That gets flipped. There we go. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Viking. Okay, that was good. So that's the uh, round there. I flipped that over, so that's two rounds done. It should also be worth noting that another rule is that you can't indicate if the thing the other person did was actually correct to your clue. Viking might have just happened to have been an agent for Lindsay and she maybe was thinking of another word for ice. So that's entirely possible. Same with me. My, my clue, which I can't repeat now, may have been <laughs> something else. We'll never know until the end of the game. But now it's my go. So... Oh man, oh man. I'm trying to think of my next move. No, my stuff doesn't really go well together. So that's the big problem with this game, is that if your things don't go together, it's really difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to give something a go. I'm going to go with... Um, inside... Mm. Two. Inside two. Right. So caves are inside. You are inside of a tank. Two. Inside. When you're on a road, you want to stay inside the lines. That's kind of loose, though. Inside. Mm, okay. I think my first guess will be cave. Okay, yep. Cave is one. Put Tom Selleck on there for us. <laughs> uh, and then inside. I mean, drivers are inside cars. Fish are inside tanks. Inside tank? No. Aww. But, innocent bystander. Okay. So, we put this on here. If I know the rules correctly, which might be wrong, but it's not a big deal if we play it consistently, this little arrow is pointing towards my side, which basically means this was my card that you set it on. I'm sorry. So, I might still it might still be an agent for me if Lindsay says it. Mm. Okay. I think... No, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I... It wasn't a great one. <laughs> are yours not matching up too well? Not great, no. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are. Like, we'll, we'll probably have an overlay of some kind, like a picture of the actual, um, you know, this thing. Yeah. Um, so there'll probably be people that are like, how are they not seeing this amazing link? <laughs> it's just not going to work out that way for us sometimes. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to go with two... Sight. Sight, just to clarify, like S-I-T-E or S-I-G-H-T? Like vision-related sight or does it, is it just the general word? I feel like if I were to tell you, it, I'll just say <laughs> that you can use a word in more than one way. Okay, like that's strawberry true. strawberry jam and traffic jam are both jam. Yeah, but they both felt the same. <laughs> Oh, well, yes. Sorry. Okay, we'll just we'll leave it as you've said it. That's fine, that's fine. Because it could be more than one word. So, 
sight too. Mm. <laughs> All right, well, I've got to go with glasses for definite. Is this Jamie Lee Curtis? That is Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah. <laughs> Sight two. Mm. There's a little part of me that is thinking maybe you've gone with the idea of vision, which is one of the senses, just like taste. So it could be that. <laughs> I. Uh... I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go taste. Go and taste. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So point the that way because technically oh. I know we are technically your side. Sorry, outside. I'm over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that was a gamble. It was a gamble. <sighs> right. Man, I was feeling really. This probably Pretty clever with that yeah, one. <laughs> there's probably a really good one on there that you've done. I've just, I've not seen it. That's that's something about this game. Like sometimes you get a little bit blind. Like you see your, you what see you your words, and then you, and then you don't always see what other things could be fitting in as well. Yeah, or... I mean, that's an important thing about this game is that we do share some agents. You know, I'll have unique ones. Lindsay will have unique ones, but I think six of them overlap. So some of mine on here will be some of the same on yours. And the assassin. One of my assassins will actually be a word that Lindsay wants me to say, but it makes you not want to say it in case <laughs> it's the shared assassin because one of them will be a joint assassin, right? I need to come up with a clue here. We've got five turns left. We've done seven out of, I, be, I believe it's 15 or mm. something like that. I'm trying to keep track of what I still need to do. Right. I'm going to go clothing two. Clothing two mm. okay so you put clothing in the dryer and then you wear green clothing on saint patrick's day but that again that's not very clothing makeup uh, makeup is like part of your morning routine clothing dryer is sounding right to me mosquito makes you want to put on as many pieces of clothing as possible <laughs> Violet, I don't know, I'm not getting much from that. Blues, Sherlock, Tank, Driver, Cuckoo. 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 Like the bird. Like a bird, I think, yeah. I would call that a cuckoo, <laughs> but I don't know. I did not know that about you. <laughs> Isn't that the bird that... Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Um, I feel like he goes into different birds' nests. And takes the eggs away or puts his own Replace eggs in. It might be that bird. Or is that the cow bird? I don't know. I don't know. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So clothing, I'm going to go with mill. Okay. The one word out of all of me you didn't say <laughs> is correct. <laughs> like a cotton mill or a wool mill. I think that's Antonio Banderas. Huddersfield had a lot of those. We, I, I've actually worked in a mill. Not when it was actually a mill, but no. when it was turned into an office. I went to school in what was once a mill, and I also worked in an office that was a mill, <laughs> yeah. which is actually why I said clothing, because they were both fabrics-related mills. Yeah, a lot of, yeah. you know, merino wool. Okay, so the other piece of clothing that I'm thinking of is dryer. It was two, right? Yes, it was two. Yeah. I can tell you that because you need to know how many guesses you're allowed to make now you do have another guess you could make because you but i think you have done everything i've said so far as far as the numbers yeah you've always gotten i i'm two. not i'm not gonna so there might still be overlap of ones that she's missed that were my actual thing but yeah okay 
I am a little bit tempted to ask about Sherlock now, but uh, I'm going to stay away from you, it. You done? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> four rounds left. I got to find a way to... <laughs> Got to find a way to get these things to... While you <sighs> are thinking, I'll also be thinking. It's quite a common thing when you're playing this game. And that's what we really love about the duet version is that as the other person is thinking about their clues, you can also be doing that about your own clues. It's not like in the base code names, which we still really enjoy, but oftentimes the people that aren't giving clues are just kind of waiting and they don't really get to do anything. Okay. I'm going to try... Oh. Holmes, like Holmes. Yeah. Two. Holmes two. Yeah. Okay, well Sherlock, for sure. And I think one of the books was called A Study in Violet. So part of me wants to go for that. But I might be wrong. It might be a study in some other reddish colour. I'm going to look at the other words before I just dive right in because it's possible there'll be something else that is like, oh no, obviously it's that. It lives on 221B Baker Street, not Baker Road, so I'm not going to do road. Pizza's very unlikely. Taste. He did lick a lot of things, didn't he? Driver, tank, I don't see either of those two. Delta, maybe. Mosquito, St. Patrick's Day, no. I mean, makeup, he was known for his disguises. Ooh, I could be. <laughs> I don't know that you know the names of Sherlock Holmes books. So it makes me doubt that it's a study in Violet. And even if that if if that's even correct, I don't know that it is. <laughs> I'm gonna say makeup. Oh no! I'm so sorry. I did not think of makeup. Uh, what was it? It was rifle. I was thinking of the scene where he's like just shooting around in his apartment and making all oh, those in the noises. Movie. Yeah, he had a pistol. It was like a. I I know it's a gun. <laughs> I I was trying to get you with sight because you can put a sight uh, on your gun. Yeah, yeah. I thought that that would be a good clue for that. I was thinking I was so clever for for linking rifle and glasses with sight. That was really good. <laughs> you did a great job. I'm so sorry. I the totally thing, forgot he uses makeup all the time. So my, like, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. It's my fault. The thing is, as well, Rifle and makeup were both assassins for me. Ah. And so I so was we worried. we shared that one. Yeah, we shared that one. And that's why I was really concerned about those sorts of things. Uh, so I thought if it's not one, it might be another. We were really close to being done on my end. These were gone. Y yeah. I just needed you to get that one. Um, you got that one. Um, I needed to find a way to get Delta and Road. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would have been difficult. I know. I had... My, my only two remaining were Puppet and Blues. Mmm. I didn't know how I was going to link those. I probably was just <clears throat> going to go a couple of ones. I think we had the time for it. Yeah. I was trying to get Road in my ice... Like, my Ice Salt ice. Blizzard Viking. I thought I could get Road in there, like Ice Road Trucker. Road I, was I another one I thought. You were gonna... It was after I said Viking when I started talking about that rule of she yeah. can't confirm if I, that is yeah. the three. It was because Road was still something that I thought it might be. But then I hit the uh, Innocent Bystander on the next one, and mm. I think I just forgot to go back to it after that. It was a decent try. I think we got some good guesses out there. Like, good clues. Good. I, we were both thinking. Yeah. Just, uh... Not not exactly. Not well enough. <laughs> not well. You know, it's interesting. We do typically do quite well at this. Mm. But sometimes you do just find that sort of thing happens. Yeah. It's a really interesting game. I know it's pretty much your favorite game of all time. Besides <laughs> Pandemic Legacy Season 1. Yeah. But we can't play that again. No. <laughs> but 
Yeah. So that is code names. Do it. You probably have many thoughts about how we played, and again, I'll just we didn't really touch on it at the start, but we've tried to improve the visual quality and the lighting. I don't know how well it's going to turn out. I think it's better, but can still be improved on. Um, hopefully, there's a bit more focus on the actual game itself as well, because we tried to keep it tighter and get our camera, excuse me, in a better position. So, yeah. Do you have any final words? No, I thought it was just really fun. I really enjoyed that. That, yeah, I had a good time. Do you thank play you another... for playing. Yeah, thank you for watching. Do you want to play another game of it off? Yeah. <laughs> off <camera now? laughs> yeah. No, we really appreciate it. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you stuck through right to the end and witnessed our failure, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Let us know what clues you would have thought of. We'll try and make sure. That, well saying this is irrelevant because it was either there the whole video or wasn't but we're going to take a picture of this and overlay it on when it's my turn you'll see my side so you can get an idea about what i should be going for and when it's lindsay's turn we'll put lindsay's spawn so you can get an idea about what sort of words she'd have said or could have said so you you let us know <laughs> what clues you'd have used because that'd be interesting yeah. to see but yeah thank you very much for watching we'll see you next week see you later bye, bye. i'm on to something with this uh Jason Statham impression. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. When are those sausages going to be done, Charlie? Three minutes? You said three minutes five minutes ago. That's perfect. We don't need to do it again. That's fine. <laughs>